Kind of check out the new surroundings. This has got to be like the first day of school, Razor. Guaranteed he would have gone early to go and take a look at the locker room. You walk in there for the first time, you can't believe your lifelong dreams are about to happen. And when you're looking around, I'm assuming, you know, is he thinking the nameplate might be up there? Oh, you're hoping, but you know, yeah. he's going to learn that those trainers don't miss very often. The jersey's ready. Your name has never looked so good as when it's on top of your stall. But what I remember, James, is the excitement, the nervousness, how scared you were. And then you're like, I'm in an NHL room. I can't believe this. It is the very best of feelings that you can have till you step on the ice the first time. Well, he signed, sealed, and delivered. Yes, the entry-level contract, better known technically as the ELC. Yeah, you know me, uh, is signed up. And now it's time to find out if he can live up to the hype. I think fans would love to see him make that jump to the opening night roster. Management would love to see it. And I know the kid has every intention of trying to crack it, too. All right, enjoy it. The honeymoon's almost over because it's time to shine. And we'll find out in camp. All right, still to come here on the show, our conversation. The whole narrative and the expression being good in the room, right? You know, chemistry is important with a team. You know, how many times have we seen teams that are absolutely stacked with talent and they fall apart? Why? Because there was just a disconnect within the room. And I know with some reporters and some of the media members asking the kid, saying, hey, you know what, why, well, how, do you, how do you endear yourself to teammates more? I don't know if there's ever really an answer. I mean, you can go out and, you know, try to be the best player you can be. That's one way to do it. You know, Personally speaking, I think another great way to do it is buying everybody 